Hello friends, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to save and export a project or clip uh, in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into it. Now I'm in the edit page. That's where you will have your clips. And if you add text or anything else, any other elements, so you'll have all of this here. So there are a couple of ways you can use to uh, save and export your project. You just simply can uh, press command and s to save um, the, the file at the same time you can go to file and then uh, save project and also you can use the other one save as since I already have saved this project so um, now I'm going to save project as so here you can name your project and then save so to find your saved project go to projects manager menu here and then um, here it is you can save the project to various locations so um, I have chosen the local um, computer so the project has been saved to my computer however you can use network uh, and cloud as well you also can um, use external hard drive to uh, save the project and if you don't know how to uh, save a project to an external hard drive you can watch my previous video on this topic and then if you want to export the videos then there are a couple of ways go to file menu and then quick export so here we have some uh, presets like um, if you go with h264 you can see the dimension and uh, necessary information here um, you can export similarly um, if you go to this one you can check the settings and then if you want to export the project for YouTube it's the same check the settings and everything so it's a quick way of exporting a project without going into um, much detail and then for an example if you want to export a video for um, YouTube select YouTube and then export name the project select the location save and it might take some time to uh, render depending on your uh, file size Alright, so rendering has been completed and uh, we can find the video to desktop since I have chosen desktop as the location. Yeah, this is the video. Alright, um, so the other option, which is the best option to export a project, I would say go to delivery menu here. This is the delivery menu and then um, you can choose some presets here but it's rather better go with custom export you can name the file choose the location here you can choose the rendering options individual clip uh, single clip whatever you you prefer and then you can also choose audio file as well so since we are exporting a video we are uh, choosing video for now and then export here you can change the format from quick uh, time player to J jpeg M mj2 mp4 and other option as well whatever you need and then uh, codec uh, h2 you can change it to um, apple prores to other like gopro gopro cineform or other options uh, photo jpeg um, and uncompress as well so we are going with the default settings h264 and it's rather better to go with this setting most of the time I would say and then you can change the resolution uh, sometimes we need low resolution high resolutions video so you can change them uh, according to your preferences you have a lot of options here and then frame rate if you um, want to change the frame rate you can do so uh, but in that regard, I would recommend that if you want to change the frame rate, do it before uh, export the project. It's it's rather better to 
uh, change the frame rate at the beginning of um, editing a video so that's rather better and then you can choose the quality uh, so by default it's automatic I'm going with it and then you have encoding profile which is now auto you can change it to base main or high uh, similarly here we have keyframes it's better to keep uh, it as it is automatic but if you need uh, you can change it uh, into other um, available options and then you have advanced settings here you can change um, the pixel aspect ratio to square to cinemascope you have other other options you can check them out and then most importantly you have um, subtitle options here so if you have subtitles in the video you must have to tick this box otherwise you will not have subtitle in your video and then um, you have to change these settings as well uh, depending on your requirements and then use YouTube settings um, you directly can upload uh, a video from this timeline to your YouTube channel um, in that case you have to fill all the information you need for your video and then uh, you will find it to your uh, YouTube channel so this is pretty much uh, it is uh, when you are happy with the settings just click on add to render and then you will have this here and just click render it all all right rendering has been completed should be in the desktop somewhere yeah it has been exported so friends this is how you simply can uh, save and export a project from DaVinci Resolve thanks for watching I'll see you next time goodbye